I'm going to be completely honest with you. When you're at the age of 50 or older with little to no retirement funds, you're in a terrible spot. But the incredible thing, however, is that if you take these lessons seriously, you can rectify the situation, but you'll have to act quickly. Fortunately, in this video, I'll walk you through what to do to retire if you have nothing saved at 50. But first, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified anytime we add new videos like this. Don't be anxious, we're going to tackle this together, progressively. You have far more alternatives than you may realize. Setting your expectations will be the first thing in this approach. If you are 50 or older and have not yet prepared for retirement, you should begin seriously considering what to expect during your golden years. The type of automobile you drive, how frequently you travel, and where you reside are all major expenses that can quickly deplete your retirement savings. As a result, it'll be critical that you alter your mental image of what retirement will entail. Just because you don't have millions of cash set aside for retirement doesn't mean you won't be able to enjoy your golden years. That is absurd. The next step in preparing for a better retirement is to reduce your spending. This is by far the simplest approach to saving more money in the future. It will be vital for you to begin altering your expectations. It is statistically impossible to save money if you spend every single dollar that you make. Make a list of every single expense you have, and if you don't know what you have, that's part of the problem. You should be aware of where every penny in your bank account goes. Otherwise, that money will find its way into the wrong hands. The next stage is to decide which expenses are needed, i.e. things you need to survive, and which ones are not. Evaluate your current situation and make minor, rational improvements. Begin exploring for less expensive alternatives to these costs so you can cut costs, save money, and invest more. It will have a huge impact on your future if you take this exercise seriously, if you actually go forward and do what I just displayed. But you must take it seriously. All of the money you save by cutting expenses will be invested, which brings us to another crucial issue. You must open an investment account and begin investing immediately if you do not already have one. For starters, if you have an employer-sponsored retirement account, such as a 401k, and your employer matches your contributions, that's a good start. If your employer will match your 401k contributions up to a specific percentage of your salary, you must contribute at least up to that percentage. Most employers will equal your whole earnings up to a certain percentage. As a result, because it's practically free money, you should invest at least the amount that your firm matches. If you don't have a 401k and have never invested a dime in your life, I have some good news for you. It's not too late and you do have options. The first step is to get in touch with your favorite broker. You'll need to open a Roth IRA account regardless of who it is. Now, after you've completed viewing this video, I have a whole other video you can watch that discusses you through the entire process of opening a Roth IRA. A Roth IRA, on the other hand, is a form of retirement plan that allows you to invest in the stock market and generate tax-free profits. This means that when you start withdrawing money from that account during retirement, none of it will be taxed. Now, in terms of what to do with that account, if you have more than five years till retirement, I don't see any reason to be overly aggressive and put all of your money into stocks. This is not, however, financial advice. I don't want you to start developing your portfolio by picking individual stocks from particular firms. That would take an inordinate amount of time and knowledge. Instead, you could simply invest in an ETF, such as VTI or the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund ETF, to gain exposure to the whole US stock market. This ETF will provide you with broad exposure to the entire market, as well as 36 stocks, including top holdings such as Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and others. You may obtain exposure to all of these equities by purchasing a single ETF from any broker. Furthermore, if you invest in a Roth IRA, none of your investment gains will be taxed. What's more, these investment gains don't take into account the money you'll receive from your social security checks or on a later date. 
But this is precisely why the first stage, reducing your spending, is so critical. The more expenses you can eliminate, the more money you'll have to save and invest. Before we proceed, please leave a comment below stating which country you are from so that we may create more customized content for your location. And now, let's move on to the next step in this plan, which is to supplement your income with extra sources of money. If you have little to no money set aside for retirement and can't afford to save and invest in your current income, you'll need to locate new sources of income. Really, there are only roughly three possibilities available to you. The first option is to ask for a raise in your current position. The second choice is to look for another employment that pays better. Starting a side hustle or a side business is the third option, which can be paired with the first two, and you would keep your current job if you desired to improve your salary significantly. But if you don't already have one, look for it. But on the top of your regular employment, you'd establish a side hustle or a side business. You'll have two streams of income flowing in, which you may use to pay off all your debts and then invite the rest. There are an unlimited number of articles and videos online discussing the greatest side hustles to make money from when it comes to side hustle ideas. You can find a plethora of various ideas by searching on Google or YouTube. All you have to do now is figure out what you're good at and then figure out how to make money from it. Consider working a little longer as the next step towards a comfortable retirement. This is without a doubt the most crucial phase in this video. Okay, let me give you two distant instances. Let's imagine that you're 55 years old in both of these scenarios. In the first case, you retire at the age of 62 on average, giving you 7 years to invest your money. Let's imagine you're able to save roughly $583 every month using the same statistics as before. With an 8% return on investment over 7 years, your money would have grown to about $65,000. You may also be able to start claiming Social Security at the age of 62, depending on how much you've earned over your career. The average retired worker will receive a monthly Social Security payout of around $1,558 in 2022. However, depending on several conditions, your check might be significantly greater. Let's imagine you start collecting Social Security at the age of 62. The maximum amount you can receive every month is $2,364. Let's suppose you opted not to retire at the age of 62, but rather at the age of 70. That's an extra 8 years of effort. This translates to more traditional years of investment and a significantly greater social security payment. Finally, suppose you were 55 years old when you retired at 62, giving yourself 7 years to invest. Over 7 years, your investment grew from $0 to $65,000 at an annual rate of 8%. In the second example, you're still 55 but you delay retirement until you're 50, giving you 15 years to invest. Using the identical numbers indicates your money would grow to $200,000, more than double the $65,000 from the previous example. Your maximum monthly Social Security benefits would grow from $2,364 to $4,194 a month in 2022 if you waited until you were 70 to retire. So by delaying retirement by 8 years, you not only increase your investment earnings, however, Social Security doubles your monthly earnings. This is one of the advantages of postponing retirement. If you're still healthy and able to work, you should stay working so that you can earn more money to save and invest, and your social security check will be larger. However, these things are dependent on a variety of conditions. It will be critical that you devote time to conducting your own study on this. Thus, do your own research and be sure to take your time while making the significant financial decision making. Alright? Thank you for watching. I hope you gained some usable wisdom from this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the notification button and then subscribe to this channel. That way, you'll be updated anytime we upload life-changing videos like this. Until next time, see ya!